Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, welcome. My name is Monica and in today's video, I am going to be talking about the new releases that are coming in October plus my TBR. So October is in a couple of days. Woohoo! I love October. I love November. I love December. I love September. I love this time of year. I am thriving except that we did have a hurricane last night and so it took me a minute to be able to get this done plus I had to finish and you'll see that video later to close out my my uh, vlog for the unstuff your kindle vlog had to do that so was able to get that done but did not have school today but I had to work let's just get into the books because that's what we're all here for so Releasing on October 1st is Slapshot Surprise by Melanie Harlow. This is book five in the Cherry Tree Harbor series. I did not know this was coming out. I thought this series had been ended and I apparently it hasn't. It's going to have all the releases, paperback, audiobook, and in ebook. And it looks like this, the paperback is going to have spread edges, which is really cool. The audiobook narrators are going to be Connor Kreis and Kristen Lee. Also on October 1st is Make the Season Bright by Ashley Heron Blake. This is going to have the releases because it's it's a uh, uh, traditional. That's the word I'm looking for. It's traditionally published. So audiobook, paperback, ebook. Narrator is going to be uh, Kristen Dim. I am going to butcher her name because <laughs> I'm terrible with pronunciations. Cr Kristen Dimercerio. I think that's what I said. Anyhow, also on October 1st is The House at Watch Hill by Karen Marie morning and this one is book one in a new tr trilogy is the watch hill trilogy does not i do not think this one is romance she does write historical romances and paranormal paner, paranormal slash historical romances so yeah i did, haven't heard anything about this but i'm really excited for it because i like her writing but the narrators are going to be amanda lee cobb and tim campbell and lastly on october 1st is 10 things i hate about mistletoe by cody hall i love that i oh 10 things i hate about you is one of my absolute favorite movies of all time so 10 things i hate about mistletoe i'm like hmm anyway it's gonna have all the releases audiobook, paperback, and ebook, and the narrators are going to be C.J. Bloom and Lee Samuels, which I'm excited for. I love them both. Then on October 2nd is The Romance Line by Lauren Blakely. This is book two in the Love and Hockey series. It's going to have all the releases for what I understand, and the narrators are going to be Vanessa Edwin and Teddy Hamilton, which that is such a good lineup. And on October 3rd is On the Wild Side by Kristen Proby. This is book four in the Wilds of Montana series. It's going to have all the releases, audiobook, paperback, and ebook. And so our narrators are going to be Zachary Weber and Samantha Brittmore, two fantastic narrators. I did not get the uh, uh, ALC or the ARC for this because I didn't sign up for the ARC. I signed up for the LLC, ALC, but it's coming out next week. So I'm, and I haven't heard anything. So I'm assuming I didn't get it, which is fine. I'm still going to listen to it anyway, because I'm enjoying this series. Then on October 10th is The Christmas Tree Farm by Lori Gilmore. This is book three in the Dream Harbor series. It's going to have all the releases because it's traditionally published. And the narrator is going to be Regina Reagan. This is the Pumpkin Spice Cafe series. That's, that's in my mind what it is. So anyway, I will probably be reading that, but I'll probably be reading that in like November. Then on October 10th is Secret Love by Willow Astor. This is book two in the Singles Dad Playbook series. Listen, I also tried to get the ALC for this and I know that they've already gone out and I haven't heard anything. So I'm 99.9% .9 sure I did not get the ALC for this, which I'm sad about because Mad Love, I gave five stars, loved that book so, so much. And I guess everybody else did too, because everybody else signed up for the ALC. And, well, that's okay. But anyway, it's going to have all the releases, paperback, audiobook, and ebook. And our narrators are going to be Sebastian York and Savannah Peachwood. I am so excited for this one. You have no idea. And then on October 10th is Chase Art Forever by Kat Singleton. This is book three in the Sutton Mountain series. Did not hear anything about narrators, but I know there's going to be a paperback and ebook. I have the first two. I just haven't read them yet, so I need to get on that. Then on October 15th is Sunlight by Debbie Perry. This is book two in the Haven River Ranch series. 
I am currently finishing up this arc and I am in seriously enjoying it so much. I will let you know my rating when, when I'm finished, but I love this book. It, it is, there's a surprise pregnancy in it and that is my kryptonite, but I also love Devonie Perry's writing. Anyway, this is going to have all the releases, paperback, audiobook, and ebook, and the narrators are Stephen Dexter and Ava Erickson. And they're doing a fantastic job with this book. Another one that I'm really excited, and I hope I get this one as well, because I did ask for the ALC, was From Here to Eternity by A.L. Jackson. This is book, this is a new book in, her, in a series, and I'm so excited for this one. Um, it's coming out uh, on the 15th, like I just said. It's going to have all the releases, paperback, audiobook, and ebook. The cover, she killed it with this cover. And the narrators are Zachary Weber and Andy Arndt, and I love them. The last one on October 15th is How My Neighbor Sold Christmas by Megan Quinn. Listen, I love Christmas books, so I might give this one a go. There's no word on it. I'm not on a narrator, but I know it's more than likely we'll have an audiobook. We'll definitely have an ebook and a paperback. I've seen the paperbacks. They are really stunning, so I'm interested. And then on October 22nd is The Striker by Anna Wong. This is a sports romance. I think it's soccer. And it, it's going to have all the releases, paperback, audiobook, and ebook. And the narrators are Shane East and Stell Hunter, who I absolutely adore both of them. They are fantastic. Then on October 22nd, there's two audiobook releases only because they've already come out on ebook and paperback. And the first one is The Puck Decoy by Gian Wright. This is book two in the Fairfield U series. It's a listen. I listened to the first one. I think it was Puck Secret, if I remember correctly, for the name. I really, really enjoyed that one. I remember the characters. I remember the plot. I remember really enjoying it. But for some reason, the name of the audiobook is just eluding me, but I think it's Puck's Secret. Let me know if I get that wrong. Anyway, and the narrators are going to be Jacqueline Kelso and Liam DeCosimo. DeCosimo. I think that's how you say his name. Anyway, and then the other one that's going to have an audiobook release only on October 22nd is Older by Jennifer Hartman. I heard this was very interesting and it's forbidden. Anyway, the narrators are going to be Grayson Ash and Gideon Frost. And then on October 24th is Finding Haze by Laura Pavlov. This is book five in the last book in the Magnolia Fall series. I have loved every single book in this series. I've given, I think the lowest book I gave was like four or 4.5 stars. I've pretty much loved this series. This series is so good. Loving Romeo was my favorite until I read Beating Heart. And then I read Beating Heart and I, I loved being, Beating Heart a lot. Anyway, so I don't, I know we're going to have an audiobook. I know we're going to have an ebook, and I know we're going to have paperback, but I do not know. And they are gorgeous. Listen, they are gorgeous. I'm so, so excited for this one, but I don't know who the narrators are going to be. She has not released that information yet. And as soon as I know, I'll probably put a, uh, I might, I might give you a short on that one because this one I'm so excited for. And then on October 24th is Dear Rosie by S.J. Tilly. This is book two in the Love Letter series. I loved the first book. I am, I'm enjoying S.J. Tilly as an author. She's doing fantastic work. And I honestly, I don't know who the nar audiobook narrators are because they haven't said it either. So I don't know, but I know we're going to have an ebook and a paperback. Then on October 28th is All Folks Up by Penny Reed. This is book three in the Good Folk series. It's her modern fairy tales series. This one is Isaac's book. We Met Isaac in the Winston Brothers series. I've been waiting for this book for years. I am so excited. It's coming out on October 28th. Audi uh, paperback and ebook. Haven't heard anything about audiobook, but I'm really, really excited about this one because I have been intrigued with Isaac as a character for a very long time. And I really want to read this one. And the last one I want to talk about, and it's coming out on Halloween, October 31st. Love that day. It is The Candlemaker by Rebecca Sharp. This is book three in the Kincaid series. I gave the last book in the Kincaid series, which was like The Lightkeeper, five stars. I do not know if there's an audiobook, but I do know I'm going to read it when it comes out. So yeah, I don't know, but I know it's going to have a paperback and ebook release. 
So I'm very excited for those. So now on to my TBR. I have a couple that are for read-alongs and book clubs. So the first one for a read-along is Devil in Winter. This is a reread for me. I don't care. I love it. This one is Sebastian St. Vincent and Evie. I am so excited for this. I actually have the original paperback and I have the audiobook. So I'm just going to listen while I read the original, see what they changed. And then I am going to be reading for Jess's Patreon. It's um, Inheritance by Nora Roberts. I've already read it last year. It was on one. It was on my favorite list the last year. I'm just happy to reread it. And her new one comes out in November. So this is a good time to reread this one. And if you did not know about what Inheritance is, it, it's the book one in the Lost Brides trilogy. This one is about a family who have the brides basically are killed on on or around their wedding night and of this curse and there's ghosts in there and we have one ghost named clover she has this playlist i will link that playlist down down below so you should read it while listening to playlist it is kind of a trip it's a lot of fun i enjoyed my time in this book and i can't wait to get back into it and then of course i'm going to be reading secret love I'm going to be reading The Striker. I'm going to be reading Finding Hayes, whether I get an ALC of it or not. I don't care. I'm reading. And same with From Here to Eternity. A.L. Jackson, I, I'm, I, that cover, like, that cover, Finding Hayes' cover is gorgeous. Like, and the Secret Love cover, they're killing it with these covers. They're beautiful and they sound great. So I'm excited to read them. Same with The Striker. I'm, I love that picture of the striker. I just, just saying. Okay, then I want to read Death at the Dinner Party by Ellie Alexander. This is book three in the Secret Bookcase Mystery series. This is a cozy mystery. I really am enjoying this series. I know some people like Meet Your Baker better. I've only read one Meet Your Baker book and I'm going to get back to that series, but it's so long and I feel like I, I'm a little daunted by how many books are in the Meet Your Baker series. So this one I felt like I could start in and start fresh. So that's why I've been following this one as they come out. And then another one is called Dewitched by Sophie H. Morgan. I really need to put Hollow Heathens on here, but that one is eight, almost 19 hours. It's like 18 plus hours of audio. And I was like, that is a long commitment, which right now, I don't know if I can commit to that much long, <laughs> that long one, but D Witch sounds really cute. It's about a girl who goes to a mass ball and she knows that witches exist. And the head and this war warlock, she meets this warlock. It's kind of like a Cinderella type deal. The warlock is Gabriel Goodnight. He has to go and live in the human world. Well, he meets her. She knows who he is, but he doesn't know who she is. Because in the human war world, he can't say that he knows that magic exists or that he's a warlock. And it sounds really, really cute. The last book that I am going to read, it's on my, it's the last book on my back list reads I want to read in 2024 TBR. And it's the culmination of everything. And it's Sugar Valley Book One by Christina C. Jones. I've never read a Christina C. Jones book before. But I heard if I wanted to start, to start in on her list, this is where I needed to start. And all it says is losing everything doesn't have to be the end. Sometimes it's a chance to find something different. That's the synopsis. And I don't know anything else other than that. So those are the books I want to read. And sorry if it's a little discombobulated. My dogs just start barking because someone came home. But let me know if you're going to, if you are reading Devil in Winter, if you're reading inheritance by Nora Roberts or what new release are you excited for because I would love to know I'm always looking for new books to read please let me know down below and if you made it this far in this video and you want to let me know that you're here but you don't want to say anything please leave me leave me the ghost emoji that goes like this anyway until next time my friends happy reading bye